Let's talk about access lists on MikroTik devices in the standard Wi-Fi interface. Access list. This is a set of rules that allows or denies wireless clients from connecting to the access point. Navigate to the wireless access list section. And let's explore the available options. The primary parameter of the access list is the MAC address. Based on the MAC address, we can allow or deny connection to our wireless device. If we don't know the MAC address or don't care about the MAC addresses of our clients, we can use an empty MAC address field, meaning for all clients. The next parameter is interface. We can configure access list rules for a specific interface or choose a set of access lists for interfaces like 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz. Signal strength range. This parameter is used to facilitate the transition from one access point to another. It defines the minimum signal level at which a connection to the access point is allowed. The minimum acceptable signal level typically ranges from minus 75 dB to minus 20 dB. Minus 20 dB is a relatively rare value and occurs when the access point and client are very close to each other. Allow signal out of range. The parameter determines how quickly the rule will be applied in terms of signal strength changes. It specifies the time frame during which signal level changes from the client will be tolerated. The default value is set to 10 seconds. It can be increased or set to always. In which case it will be applied immediately. And the client will be dropped. In some situations, this can negatively impact the operation of our wireless network. So it is optimal to leave it at 10 seconds. APTX limit. This is the speed limit from the access point to the client. Client TX limit. This limits the speed from the client to the access point. Client TX limit only works between router OS devices. In other words, this parameter does not apply to smartphones. These two parameters are mainly for wireless bridges or service providers. When reducing the transmission speed on wireless interfaces, we generally lose in the quality of the wireless network. It is much better when our client transmits data over the wireless network at the maximum speed and allows another client to do the same. Authentication. If this parameter is disabled, no client will be able to connect. It serves as a restrictive rule. If the parameter is enabled, it means that we allow clients to connect with specific parameters. If there are no rules in the access list, the rules from the wireless interface apply. Restrictive rules in the access list always have a higher priority. Forwarding. Enables traffic exchange between clients in the same wireless network. It determines whether our clients will be isolated from each other. This parameter can be specified in the access list for a specific device or globally in the settings of the wireless interface. VLAN mode. We can set a specific VLAN for a particular client. And this client will automatically be placed in the required VLAN. This parameter is quite specific and is applied. For example, when we have devices that need to be connected to the corporate wireless network but do not support WPA2 EAP and only support WPA2 PSK. We connect them to the guest network but configure them to allow switching to the required VLAN. Private key. This parameter is outdated and practically not used. Private pre-shared key. This parameter may be of interest to us. It allows us to set a unique password for a specific MAC address. And thus, a specific client will connect with a unique password to our access point. Management protection key. Used for wireless bridges and works only with MikroTik equipment. Time. This function sets the time of operation for our rules. For example, it can be configured to allow connections to our network only during working hours. It should be noted that rules in the access list work from top to bottom. In other words, the denying rule should be above the permitting one. Understanding and effectively configuring access lists on MikroTik wireless interfaces is crucial for managing and securing your wireless network. The access list feature provides a powerful set of tools to control which clients can connect. Define their parameters, and even assign them to specific plans. By carefully utilizing MAC addresses, signal strength, and other parameters, network administrators can enhance security, 
optimize traffic, and tailor the wireless experience for different devices. Remember that the access list rules operate in a top-down fashion, emphasizing the importance of their order. Each parameter, from MAC address to time restrictions, contributes to the overall control and efficiency of your wireless network. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Your support means a lot. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Until next time, take care.